Hey guys, this is Rye Guy Gaming here again, back with another episode of Spyro the Dragon. And so today we are going to be doing the next level in the home world. Um, which, I don't know which one I want to do next. I guess we'll go do the one in the maze. But anyways, real quick, as you can see here, after I kill the guys in the home world and get their gems, and I believe enemies in the portals too, I get these little orb things that circle the dragon head up in the corner and when it completely encircles the dragon head then I will get um, an extra life and so that's how you get extra lives in this game or of course you can get the extra life pickup thing that's in those crates where the eyes peek out of it I'll show you one if I find one. Um, but just like in Spyro 2, this level introduces some new enemies that you can only headbutt because they have metal shields and you can't flame- I said metal weird. Um, and you can't flame metal, see? It just turns red. But you can headbutt it, but these big guys you cannot headbutt because they're too big and that wouldn't work. Uh oh. I guess you can flame them when they put their shield back, but, yep. Because if you remember in the last level, I'm pretty sure there was nobody that we specifically had to headbutt or specifically had to fire breath. I'm pretty sure you could use um, either method on every adversary in the last level, and so um, this is kind of the level to introduce the different kinds of you know, damage and enemy types, which is interesting that they would choose to do that on the second level. Ow, oh my gosh, like this fire for some reason. This looks like basically the exact same fire from Spyro 2. They're just reusing crap at this point. Go die. Let's see if I can flame him. Where did he go? Oh. When he puts his, yeah, when he puts his shield back to like brandish his knife at you, you can flame him in the face. And this one, I forgot to mention this in the last episode, but in Spyro 1, there actually wasn't a hover. So when you push triangle while you're gliding in Spyro 2, you'll get a little more air, but you'll also stop dead. In this one, Spyro doesn't get any more air. He just drops straight to the ground like a rock. So... Um, it, for, it performs the same function of being able to stop immediately while you're in the air. However, it doesn't give you that little boost of height. And this is one of the extra live crates I was talking about. You can see I get a dragon statue. It's, I guess it's Spyro. Um, and uh, I guess I'll kill all these guys by the portal before we go over there. Hey buddy, what's up big boy? I was going to say a joke that is probably not appropriate for a YouTube channel. <laughs> and besides, he's green anyways. He's the wrong color. I can't use that meme. Oh gosh. I'm gonna stop talking about that now. <laughs> Darius. These dragons have some Speaking weird names. Like Alright, let's go head out to that other area over here. I wonder why you light the fires. I wonder if that actually does anything. Maybe if I ever play this again, I will not light them. But this is the only the third time if I complete this all the way that I'll have 100 percented Spyro 1, um, which is significantly less than the other two. I believe Spyro 2, I, I don't think I ever beat it 100% as a kid, but um, I have beat it a total of three, four times now, I mean, I believe, um, 100%, and then Spyro 3 was the first Spyro game that I 100%ed, and I did do that as a kid, and so I think I will, if I ever do that, I think, I'm sorry, I think I have 100%ed that one three times at this point, so when I do it again for YouTube, I, I'd like to say when, but I guess if I do it again for YouTube, um, it will have been the fourth time as well. So this game I have 100%ed one less time than the other two, 
which means I don't quite know the placement of all the gems and everything, which is a little unfortunate. But for some reason, I'm missing 10. Oh, yeah, it's because they're outside in that chest with the key. Um, and here's the thing about Spyro 1 that I also forgot to talk about last time. Spyro 1, um, the levels are really short. Like, if you can see, we're already done with this one. I know this is just like the first level. Well, the second level in the first area. But this level took us probably five minutes so you can bet your sweet bottom that I'm definitely gonna be doing a second level in this episode there's no way I'm doing a five minute episode um, because statistics show you make more money if you do a 10 minute episode just kidding <laughs> I don't make any money anymore because YouTube shafted me but I don't care I'm doing this for fun now that's why I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, and you guys can't say squat. Just kidding, that's mean. But it's just really this first world where the levels are short. In fact, I could probably finish the first world in this episode if I wanted to, but I think I won't. I think in the next episode I will do the boss and then the home world of the next level, because I think that's what I did in Spyro 2 was I would do the boss and the next home world, I think. No, I would do the speedway. Oh, no. I still have to do the speedway. I hate the speedways in this game. The, they are insanely difficult in this game. Um, I don't know why, because it was like, I guess it was their first attempt, so they just went like, peanuts to the wall with them but like I don't know maybe some people find them easy I think they're extremely difficult the um, speedways in this game who man <laughs> I'm not looking forward to the speedways they are one of those things that take many tries and are very frustrating and I will probably have to edit a lot so I guess we will do that in the boss next episode, which means I probably won't be recording that tonight because I don't feel like dealing with that tonight. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get these chests. Oh yeah, I forget these guys stick in the ground. I think you get the gem just from knocking them over, but I think because um, they count as dead, but you can double dead them if you want. Oh yeah, Spyro 1 has those weird... I'm just gonna call this Spyro from now on. If I want to reference the other games, I'll reference this by number, them by number, but this one I'll just call Spyro. But it has like these weird chests where you have to like flame them and then the gem comes out and you have to catch it before it goes back in. It's really tedious and I'm very glad they got rid of it. At the matador he's an idiot so yeah if you flame the bulls they die instantly but if you charge them that's when they get stuck into the ground so maybe this is the second level you're supposed to complete because you don't really need either um, combat method to take out these guys either so I guess I've played them a little bit out of order but that's okay because I have played all these levels before. It's not like I'm a noob. Ah, boy. All right, so we'll wreck this guy and this guy and where did the other one go? Did I kill him already or did he? I wonder if they disappear. All right, so we'll get these lovely gems and we'll get this guy, Alvar. That's a cool dragon name. Alvar. It's like Elvarg, but not from RuneScape. <laughs> Alright, so we'll hop over here. That takes a while to find if you don't know that's there. I like, to, you have to be careful around this turn. Sometimes you can hose yourself. Alright, where are you, you little blue bugger? Oh no! That's okay, we're just back at the start of the- what the heck, was that the blue guy? Ah, <sighs> whatever, we're just back at the start of the level, that's not that 
bad. <laughs> oh, we weren't back at the start. We were like halfway through the level. That's okay. Fly over here. Oh, look, he's back too. Boy, get wrecked. Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> I try not to yell. I know a lot of YouTubers yell into their mic, and I mean, it doesn't like hurt my ears because usually they've done a fairly good job of normalizing their audio, but I don't. I'm not as experienced as editing yelling, so I don't want to blow out my viewers' eardrums. And I like to think I'd have a more level head than some of the kids that play games on the internet. And I know they're doing it for like a show, like it's their character or whatever, but. And I'm not going to be any more specific than just saying popular YouTubers, but I'm pretty sure we can all think of a few examples. Oh, there are also these tedious chests that you have to flame breath. They're like wind turbines. Um, but I believe that's all the gems. And then this will be the last dragon. Thor. Let's see if he's huge. Thank you for releasing me. Wow. He's like an old man dragon and his name is Thor. You think he'll be like a super ripped dragon? Oh, well. Just double check that that's everything. Um... Yup, looks like it. Dang it. <laughs> I was hoping I could snag that. So this one doesn't have any of the cool like intro and exit cutscenes. In fact, I don't think this one has any cutscenes beyond like the beginning of the game and the end of the game. So you can just kind of blow through levels real easily. And in fact, Spyro 3 doesn't have any intro and outro cutscenes to each level either. But there are more intermittent intermittent story cutscenes sprinkled throughout the game so that's nice so yeah next time we will do the speedway which is hidden i will have to show you where it is and unlock it um and we will do the boss and then if we have time we'll go and do the next home world um but after the speedway it's debatable if i want to keep recording so i might even do the boss first i don't know but anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like or a comment. And please be sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.